Okay, so uh, tell us, each of you, tell us what it was like returning to uh, working on the Star Wars. Tremendously exciting is the two words I will use, followed by all those other words that I just said. <laughs> <laughs> Me? Yeah. How on earth do I follow something as brilliantly encapsulating as tremendously Good exciting? Luck. I don't know. Oh no. Well, it I I mean I didn't know that I was that Captain Phasma was necessarily going to come back for another film. So I was really surprised and felt hugely lucky. And the moment of being able to sit down and read the script, I felt like was a you know, one of those special, precious, incredible moments after seeing the film to so quickly be able to read the script for the next one was particularly thrilling for me. Um, I, I have the great fortune to sit down with Ryan and um, over a very nice lunch. And um, it was ravioli, actually, I had, which was really nice. And um, yeah. at the Ham Yard, which is a really nice hotel in London. Um, so Ryan, Ryan told me... Tell me the, the, the arc for, for Snoke in this, which I was so super excited about because, um, you know, it, it, I knew that it was going to involve not just being a hologram, you know, and I, and I really enjoyed being a hologram, but, 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 you know, actually, you know, seeing, uh, you know, that he was going to be wearing gold lame and everything was going to be really, really exciting. And uh, since you brought up Brian, what was it like working with Ryan? Ryan's just such a relaxed and funny person, and he takes all of that into his working environment. So it was always fun. I never had a day where I felt pressurized or like I was getting it wrong. It always felt like a really interesting, creative exploration, no matter what you were doing. And uh, returning to the massive sets, and the, the, apparently these are bigger, better than any Star Wars sets we've ever seen, uh, and working in that kind of detail, how does that help your performance? I think it's great not to be distracted by things that you have to imagine or fill in the blanks in your head. It's just so nice to look over and if there's meant to be a screen with a crazy thing on it, there's a screen with a crazy thing on it. If you're meant to be looking at all these stormtroopers, there's all these stormtroopers. I, I, I think it just really helps to kind of be in the moment. And Andy, do you have a uh, specific thing that you'll take away from working on this uh, film? Yeah, I mean, that, um, working with, I can't say who, um, at this point, um, but yeah, the, 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 there's a particular scene which, which actually became very, very dark and, and went darker than I ever thought it would be on, on, on the script, actually. Um, and it, the day that we were shooting it was, it, it just got more and more intense as Ryan was drilling down to find the court, kind of the center of the scene. And it was, it was just great working with my, my fellow actors who I can't say who mm -hmm. they are right now. Understood, understood. Um, and, uh, the captain has a different look, I'm told, in this The captain film? does have a different look. The captain has got a couture suit. The captain now has an even shinier suit than before. Uh, how has being in the Star Wars universe changed your life? Um, if any. I hope my life hasn't changed all that much, apart from the privilege of just having to been a part of something that's special. That, that makes you feel happy about your, your, your place in things, just to have had the opportunity. Like that, that makes me feel good, but my life is much the, much the same. Um, my friend's children are now excited by me rather than dismissing me. <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a great answer, damn it, I should have said that. Uh, yeah, look, I mean, p p part of the excitement of this for me was that I, my, my brother is perhaps one of the world's greatest Star Wars fans and, and, and to see him come on he actually got the opportunity to come on set and he and his two boys cried a lot oh. and it was just, that was quite amazing actually it was amazing because it does mean so much you know and you realise how much it does mean to everybody and lastly if I can get from each of you what do you quickly because I have one minute uh, what do you expect audiences will be feeling and talking about when they walk out of this film I think there's an incredible feeling of intimacy in this film, um, which I found surprising and, and very beautiful, but the relationships take on a new level of intimacy for me. I haven't seen it yet, but based on what people were saying after last night, it sounds like Carrie's performance will be a big thing for people to take away, you know, it will be a very special thing. Yeah, I agree, I agree with that. I think I think that's the overwhelming feeling is it's an incredibly emotional film and people will be, you know, yes, there are extraordinary battles that go on. There are, you know, extraordinary turns of event, but actually what people will carry away is, is, the, is the emotion of the piece.